So it's the following morning now, uh, day one of the extravaganza course. Uh, the first event is at half nine, uh, which is the handover, which is about half nine, 20 to 10 sort of thing. Uh, that's called the handover. That will feature Veronica Chambers, uh, over at Audrey Sorter, who of course I met last year at the extravaganza. Uh, they're doing a handover with Sir Handel. So uh, yeah, so planning to go head to Barmore Station now, which is actually just up the street from where I am. I can see the barriers to the level crossing already. Uh, so I'm on the way over there to catch my train back to Towin. And I've left the hotel, the bed and breakfast. I had a great night's sleep in there, actually. Uh, just the sound of the waves is probably what kept it going. But uh, yeah, there was a comfortable night's sleep in there. Uh, so I'm just going back to the station now to carry on the journey back to Towin. So I should get there for about 9.20 and I will assignate with Robin and Luke once I arrive. And yeah, so we'll get there and we'll go and watch the handover. So on the station now, and uh, just picked up my ticket to travel to Towin. Uh, only cost me one pound eighty. Uh, looks on like it's two sixty for standard advanced singles, but because I'm real staff, I get the discount. So one eighty for any time return, any time single to carry on the way there. So that's all right for me. <laughs> but now we've got about fifteen minutes before the train arrives, so just get a chilly room wait until it comes. <laughs> journey to Tawin would take me back along the Cambrian coastline over the Barmouth Bridge and through Fairbourne, which also had its own miniature railway I would visit later on during my holiday. Arriving back in Tawin after a short 30 minute journey, I was met with two familiar faces. So I think we're all here? Yes. Hello. <laughs> but we're one, we're one man down. Uh, one man down. Yeah. Where is he? <laughs> unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately he's off celebrating a family birthday, so yeah. Jack will no longer be joining us for this journey. So. Um, You'll be, be in our hearts, Jack. What, what you? Yeah, yeah. He'll, be, he'll, be in, he'll be here in spirit. Yeah, he's here in spirit, so I say, uh, I say we head down the railway? Yeah, down to the railway. Let's go. <laughs> After assignating with Robin and Luke, we ventured off back in the direction of the Talakan Railway. Now a very familiar sight for the three of us, as we prepared to witness the first event of the day, with a brand new surprise awaiting us. So we've just come down at the wharf itself, and who do we see right there in front of us, Luke? Who do you see right in front of us over there? Good old Tom Roll. Yeah, he's not got either of you on him yet, but he will do sooner, I think. There's plenty of good people got hanging around here elsewhere. It's already, it's already getting busy already, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, which is a good, uh, which is a good sign. Definitely, yeah. But plenty to see, plenty to enjoy. Stop. Oh, that is beautiful. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! It's going to fall at the moment. Now the handle. I told you already. So wake up. Everybody else So Sir Handel and Sir Hayden have just uh, pulled in. Uh, Sir Handel's got a brand new face there, and Sir Hayden was on the face behind with a sort of eye patch on. But that is just that is beautiful. Brand new face. That's actually our engine on hire from the Chorus Railway. It's a new one on there. So we've actually got two Sir Handels as put as such. So that's what we're in ways for. So yeah, good for enjoying this visit with these engines. The handover was then announced by the Reverend W. Audrey's own daughter, Veronica Chambers, whom I had met in person the previous year and very kindly signed a copy of the first book in the series, The Three Railway Engines. Dear friends, 
I have been asked by Sir Handel Brown, the owner, to say a few words on his behalf. He's sorry he cannot make it today. He, like us, is oh, sorry, sorry, delighted sir. to hear that this event would be oh, oh, for a fourth year. Oh, okay. The Reverend Will oh, McCaudry, right. he said, did his best to show Stodor as it really is. He was a creditable ambassador for our island, though only some of his artists were as creditable as he. <laughs> <laughs> this year's ambassador from the Scarlowy Railway is, of course, Sir Hannah. <laughs> You <laughs> <laughs> can't be sleeping, didn't you? Okay. We would also like to thank the Corish Railway for their help in ensuring that Sir Handel could visit. They have recently finished their own steam engine, which is not unlike Sir Handel, but Sir Handel is, of course, one of a kind. Mm. Special attention should go to Rusty, for it's 65 years since this intrepid diesel was introduced into the book. Mm. This event is a celebration. The hype is up for him. <laughs> this is a celebration, and we're thrilled that you have come to join us. There are so many faces, old and new, who have come this weekend to celebrate the life and legacy of my father, and perhaps his most enduring creations. We hope you'll enjoy every part of it. To those who always ask after him, Christopher sends his very best wishes to everybody. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Following the handover, we wandered around the wharf, mingling once again with the many fans who had travelled far and wide to come to Tawin to visit the Tullochlin Railway and attend the extravaganza. So I was just uh, wandering around the wharf right now and I just bumped into the one and only. The usual Bob Luke, I can't believe it. It's yeah. the usual. I'm this such is, yeah. a huge fan of this guy. He's got so many subscribers. I'm so proud of this guy. I'm so happy for him. Yeah. So this is the, this is Thomas the Right, hello, yes, hello. So this is Thomas the subscribers. You have more than me. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think Thomas, Thomas Nearest actually did, you did cameo one of my vlogs last year. Uh, yes, I was played, like, I was I, playing I, the recorder one of them, on the recorder oh, one. Oh, I was just in the background playing the recorder, yeah. yeah. he was well, in the background, but where, where's, where's Thomas Nearest come from for this? Uh, from Ireland. From Ireland. Willow, I've come from Newcastle, so we come I've from come different from, parts I've of the... I've come from Newcastle. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, yes, I've, won, I've won English accent. Anyway, yeah. Sorry. yeah, we've come from different parts of the company, but uh, Adam's here to enjoy the extravaganza? Yes, I am. Yeah. How many times have you been here now? I've been here three times now. Same uh, times as us. And I've got my sister here. And his sister has come this year. Yeah, drinking a Costa. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I watch the vlog, guys. Check out all the things, like, subscribe. Yeah, all of that. All the rest of it. All of that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for all my, my train vlogs and Star Wars stuff and everything else. Yes, anyway, exactly. Absolutely. And of course, usual what Luke we've been travelling with as well. Who's currently dying? <laughs> yes, because Adam here has uh, he has he has contributed to some of Luke's uh, vlogs. Yeah, I think I've made them slightly worse. <laughs> yeah. And he contributed to one of Robin's ones as well. Yes, I so, Yes, I, yeah. I like to contribute where I can. You yeah. Know. He hasn't contributed to any of mine yet, though. But I don't think he needs to because I don't really do much Thomas commentary well, anyway. So. Sure, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. But that's what I do. Yes. It's good to see you again there, Thomas. Adam. Anytime. Thomas, Thomas Nearest. Adam. Thomas yeah. Nearest. Yes. That's yes. all right. So, yeah, it's good to see him again. Anytime. That's the great things about these events. You just get to be people yeah, like you this. You crazy guy. people. Like, I saw this guy, you know, he had hair. Anyway, yeah, I'll chat to you. <laughs> good to see you again, mate. As we had just arrived in Tawin on the Saturday, the only event we had booked that day was the evening entertainment which would once again be held at the Magic Lantern Cinema in Tawin itself. Whilst we awaited for that, we had a look round at some of the many custom models many fans had brought along with them, obtaining plenty of photographs to be taken of the locomotives having had their faces placed on them. I finally got to see the Talican Railway's own number one engine in person, who had quite the look in place while in character as Scott Lowy. The railway's own number two Dolgok was once again in place, this time as Renias, as opposed to being Smudger the previous year, along with number seven Tom Rolt, who was in character as Ivo Hume. The true highlight on the wharf was Midlander, who had been fully repainted as Rusty and also had a new face put on, more closely resembling the engine's appearance from the box. The engine's old face, however, did make a surprise appearance. 
Two of the engines were however still absent from the extravaganza. The first being Edward Thomas. This engine was once again absent as Peter Sam from the actual events. However, as it has returned to the railway following its overhaul, the engine was in the shed and still carried the Peter Sam face. I would however manage to see Edward Thomas in steam the following Thursday, as the Tullochman Railway did a farewell triple header special as they prepared to send Chorus Railway number 10 back to the Chorus Railway. The other absent engine was number 6, Douglas, who had appeared in the last two extravaganzas in character as Duncan, having been the main focus of the 2023 extravaganza. This engine was now awaiting an overhaul as the boiler ticket had expired in January. The engine is currently on display at the Seven Valley Railway. Some of the notable trains we watched the departures of this year included the Saturday Picnic, which was a double header consisting of Sir Handel and Sir Hayden, and later the Chapel Train, which used the two engines topping and tailing. So we're up here now on the bridge, me and Robin. Uh, the rain is quite, quite mad. It's just, uh, it's been a mix of rain and not rain all day. We're up on the bridge now because the Chapel Train has arrived for Sir Handel. Uh, as of course, there's been a bit of a montage of different engines wandering around that we've had. We've basically just been wandering around the around the wharf and visiting the. Uh, we had our lunch in the refreshment room. Um, we're going to be here for about another hour and a bit. Well, we'll, so we'll see this one goes as a chapel train, and then after that there'll be the boat express, and then after that we're going to go back to our caravan, relax for about an hour or so, and then we're going to go back out and go to the Magic Lantern Cinema to have the evening entertainment. There's still plenty more to go. Uh, it's still a fun-filled weekend. It's so good to see all these people back here once again. Uh, then of course after the evening entertainment we're going to go back to our caravan, sleep and do, get, do it all again in the morning. Shortly after the chapel train came the last major event of the railway to have taken place on the Saturday, the boat train, which Sir Handel led alone. Following the departure of the boat train, Robin, Luke and I headed to our accommodation. So we're in the caravan now, uh, having a little rest. Uh, I'm here on the couch, Robin's over there. Here with the camera. Yeah, uh, Luke is just uh, sorting things out himself in the room that he's going to be sleeping in. And so we're just we're just sat in here having a chill, chill for a little while. It's currently just after 6 o'clock and we're going to head back out in about 10 minutes and head on up to the Magic Lantern Cinema. Uh, where the evening entertainment is going to be. Now, we're not sure whether Tim Dunn's going to be there this time, though, because uh, they've not said anything about him being there, sadly. So if he's not there... If he's not there, he's not there. Is that the best way to say it, Robin? I suppose. Yeah, if he's not there, he's not there. Yeah. But Veronica's going to be there, so Veronica's doing something. But it, it will feel like such a shame if Tim Dunn hasn't been able to come this year. But uh, we'll still have fun watching the event, and uh, we'll see what surprise they have for us. So we've made it to the Magic Lantern Cinema now, and uh, we've taken our seats. Now, it was designated seating for where people are, so we got in, and then we were told front row couch, so that's where we are right now. Yeah. Can you guys believe it? So, I cannot believe our luck. Yeah, because we just came in and we were told to sit there. We're, like last year, we were right at the very back. Also just so much on a couch, <laughs> but this year, it's amazing, and we've got this great view of the Audrey Extravaganza right there. Later in the evening, we were treated to some evening entertainment, which consisted of a rundown of some of Reverend W. Audrey's notes, including some lesser known facts about the solar engines, and a sketch pointing out some of the many illustration mistakes and inconsistency that were revealing. Some more than others. Sadly, unlike the last two extravaganzas, Tim Dunn was not to be present this time around. 
In the middle of this, though, we had another Tallaghlin Railway charity auction. Both times prior, a member of us had partaken in the charity auctions at the evening events, and at least one of us had been successful, with Luke winning a first edition copy of Oliver the Western Engine in 2022, and I won a copy of Sword or Reading Between the Lines, signed by Christopher Audrey in 2023. This time, it was Robin's turn, and he was successful, having won a Railway Series surprise packet, something which had been won by other people at the last two auctions. The real treat for the evening, however, came with a surprise screening of the film Blue Mountain Mystery, which I had actually not seen before and was quite fun to watch in a community of many grown-up Thomas fans. Following the screening, we were treated to our caravan where we would prepare for the following day's activities. So it's Sunday morning now. Uh, we're just in our caravan. We've just uh, been finishing, getting ready for the ready for the day. Luke's just over there packing his uh, camera in his own bag. Trying to be able to and use it now. The rain stops. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's actually quite a lovely day today. So uh, we've got, we're just waking up once again to that lovely view of the Welsh Sea. I'm a bit I'm a bit drowsy today because I didn't ha I forgot to buy coffee yesterday. So I've just got to go and fuel myself up on some of that first. As I just I can't function without it. But uh, that'll be me going on first. And then today we've got our Audrey exhibit event and then we've got the picnic and following that later on this afternoon we've got the photo charter and we had a bit of a chill out time with, time with Thomas Theorist yesterday as well because we had a screening of the film Blue Mountain Mystery at the Magic Lantern Cinema and yeah that's uh, that's my first time seeing Thomas on a big screen <coughs> since I was four years old to watch Thomas the Magic Railroad in the cinema. What about you guys? Uh, first time on the big screen full stop. Yeah and Luke? What, my first time watching Blue Mountain Thomas and on the big screen. Oh Thomas uh, well <laughs> Last time I saw Thomas on the big screen was in 2018 with uh, Big World Big Adventures, and I, I was the only one in the cinema screening. <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, I've I've been that when I was the only one in the cinema screening. When I see Teen Titans go to the movies, I was the only person in the cinema screening. <laughs> so yeah, I. Right, but yeah, we're gonna go out. We're gonna have another good day today. On the Sunday, we returned to the Tallaghlin Railway to prepare for our first event, which would once again be the Audrey exhibit. This included more examples of Audrey's work and the world building around the railway series, along with an in-person view of some TV show props, including Scar Louis still being ever present, as well as the prop used for the character known as Fearless Freddy, who had appeared in the hit era. So we just finished the exhibit at this point now. Uh, I'm just outside at the minute, getting some fresh air. But we're just awaiting on the arrival of the picnic train, which must be on its way in now as it's just roped off the platforms. Uh, we've currently got Sir Hayden just standing over there as well. So I think we're just uh, anticipating this. The lovely thing is the sun's come out though, so it's nice and warm. So uh, definitely a change of scenery as is what we had yesterday. Yeah, what we do, 
grab a compartment, dump my bags in there, then run around the front, get some photos and jump back in. Yeah. So we're aboard the picnic train now, on our way up to Abergan Owen once again. Being uh, hauled by Sir Hayden from, uh, well not Sir Hayden, Sir Handel, so to say. Uh, don't know if it's actually got a name for it on this year. Luke is just there writing notes for an idea he has, whilst Robin is filming his own bit of footage. How much you get there, Robin? Huh? How much footage you get there? Quite a bit. Yeah. I think I've got someone looking away from that. And what's Luke writing? A uh, story idea that I've come up with. Yeah. More on that way. No so. spoilers. That's all I can say. I mean, we get a good view of the mountains that we're about to get, and we just get towards Dolgoff Falls. We get to see all of this. Uh, it's just great to be doing this again. So, Absolutely. yeah, I mean, this is our first uh, train journey on this here, isn't it? Yeah, first, first one of the week weekend for us, and we'll be doing it at least. We've got a photo chart later today, and then during the week, I think we'll do it one or two more times. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and we're also going to do the Fairbourne Railway later in the week as well, so that's going to be good. So we're having a good one now. Uh, we've had our picnic. How, how, how was the picnic, guys? Very, very enjoyable. Yeah. Delicious. It was just a basic, like it was the last couple of years. We're about to go into here now, and we're going to see uh, the, far, the Reverend W. Audrey's far car layout. And it's sort of an extension to the Audrey exhibit. Is that, is that the easiest way of saying it? Oh, uh, yeah, that's how I describe it. Yeah, it's just like uh, it's a bit more of the exhibit, so I think we'll just go ahead and enjoy it. This is a bit of a good spot actually on the layout, so the gas works and I like the fact that Andrew Berkman has a nickname Mickey because the gate's open Hello, it's Thomas So yeah, there's Blueman It's too big Oh, it's too big 
After the picnic came the event that many of us had anticipated, and possibly the most popular one, the photo charter. We had once again managed to secure ourselves tickets to this event as it was an extremely popular one. As Sir Handel was the focus this year, it was the intention for images from the railway series to be created using him. There were many of that still involved pictures that involved other characters in the books, but this was a truly worthy experience, especially being able to take part in the Peter Salmon the Refreshment Lady image, which many of us volunteered to do. All in all, I can indeed say that this was another successful Audrey extravaganza to have partaken in. While Thomas and Friends may not be what it used to be, it's always amazing to see many people, both young and old, come to this railway and help keep the legacy of what the Reverend W. Audrey had created alive for many generations to come. And all my closing words can be, roll on next year.